All right, so uh, there was a sale at Target or whatever, and they were selling 43-inch uh, 4K televisions for 200 bucks. And uh, so I didn't think I was going to get, well, the sale was Black Friday, but I didn't think I was going to get one because it was after Black Friday. I figured $200 for 43-inch 4K television, they'd be wiped out. But apparently Target had a, a something in the back with like a whole bunch of them and they just brought them out because they didn't realize they had them or something. They were bringing them out. So I saw it and I was like, mine. <laughs> uh, so I, didn't, I do not have a 4K television right now. Well, now I do. But uh, my television is under 35 inches and it's a 1080p and it's really old with big bezels and stuff. And uh, so this is not the best brand name in the world, but for 200 bucks. Yeah. So we're going to open this thing. It's also a smart TV. Has apps on it. I don't need them because I have the Shield TV, and that's actually is my main thing is I wanted to use the Shield TV. Hopefully, stream some games in 4K, and I'll have a bigger TV. Yay! So we're we'll open this now. I saw someone on YouTube. That's how I found out about this. I saw someone on YouTube. I normally don't go to Black Friday sales because I assume I'm gonna get trampled, but. You know, it's after Friday, and it was just fine. I got in and out. So, opening this. And, uh, and then I get to hook it up. Maybe I'll give my my old TV to my girlfriend. Because she has, like, a... She has, like, practically a computer monitor uh, for a TV. It's really small. It's, like, 20-something inches, so... Maybe I can give her my old one because I don't need two TVs in a studio apartment. First, and then interesting packaging. Part of the stand. Put that on my low seat right now. Uh, let's see what, what's going on here. A little bit weird the way the package is. I saw this on YouTube. I was struggling to open it. Uh, it's a weird thing to do with things. Hurry here. Watch me break it. No, I'll just like bring it back and be like, it wasn't me. The guy who sold it to me threw it at, uh, up against the wall. All his fault. We got more, more foam in here. That out. Let's see what this thing is width wise. It was like width wise. Uh, the one that had it slipped, so I'm not going to grab it like this. Uh, uh, it's a little rough. Get this out. I still want my hand on the panel. Okay, so this is the TV. Hmm, nicer looking than my old panel. At least for the for the actual panel itself. Whoa. I guess more uniform, I guess. I don't know. Hmm, a lot thicker than I thought it would be. It really looks about the same, almost the same thickness as my old TV. Uh, but definitely bigger. Uh, so, here's the... Here's the, I don't even know how that is in the thing there, but that's the TV. I don't know how much of it you actually saw. Just take the plastic off of this thing. We'll probably come back to you when it's all assembled because uh, I'm already having trouble doing this without being in frame. So be right back. Okay, so here is the 4K TV setup. All set up. Uh, I'm going to tell you what I think about it right now. <laughs> few things I didn't even think of. I was kind of a bit of a naysayer with these 4K TVs. I was like, ah, it's bullshit. Uh, same same craps. And then after using it for just a few minutes, there's like a few things I didn't even think about. But I'm going to get to what I think is bad first because I always do that. I always like to do that. Okay, so the display. All right. It's sharp for what I'm used to seeing. But the, the display, as far as the black levels go... Uh, you may not be able to see it on the camera, but there's a bit of a haze. It's a $200 TV, but there's a bit of a haze on the TV. Um, you, 
don't really notice as much when sitting down. It, and the colors aren't as saturated. It's not like they don't pop out really nicely. And this is the Shield TV I have hooked up, so it's native 4K. However, that is, you know, like, first of all, it's $200, so I can't have my, my expectations shoot through the roof. But um, it, it, it supports HDMI CEC, so I was able to use the remote, this remote here, to control the Shield TV. Yeah, I'll do that right now. It doesn't respond as well, because I believe it's using IR instead of the uh, Wi-Fi Direct that uh, this the controller uses. So, uh, you know, this may be okay in a pinch. But uh, one thing I did notice, <laughs> one of the things I wasn't thinking of, um, I didn't think I would be able to game stream in 4K because my PC is kind of a, um, it's not the best. It's a bit of a budget rig. But I did fire up Grand Theft Auto. I set uh, the game stream to 4K at 60 frames per second. And I ran it, it ran really smooth and it looked amazing. And I, because I didn't have to use any, any anti-aliasing at all. So because all the pixels were basically taken care of by the resolution, it actually ran better than when I was running it before at 1080p. Uh, because I kept having to jack up the anti-aliasing, so it actually runs at a smoother frame rate, and it looks nicer, um, and the colors look fine when I was game streaming. So everything looked gorgeous in that way, and I'm sure if I got a better TV, it would look phenomenal, but for a $200 TV, it actually helped the performance of my game streaming. Also, the display um, latency, you know, the time that it takes to press a button and what happens on the TV is very low. A lot better than my last TV. Um, I used to play games on, on that and there were certain delay issues with that. But when playing on this, I really didn't notice any issues with uh, input delay. Um, so that worked out. Even, on, even with the gaming mode, mine's an old T Toshiba TV. I don't even remember which one. <laughs> but um, so tried the the game stream a little bit. Um, haven't hooked it up to my sound plate. I believe this is a little bit bigger than my sound plate, and it, go, it has to go on top of it. But it's it's enough that it stays still, so it's not going to fall or anything. But uh, you know that's that. Um, let me try some games. Actually, in fact, I'm going to launch a game stream game. Um, launch Grand Theft Auto Five. We'll show that. It's blazing hot in my house. It's, it's really cold outside, but it's blazing hot in my house. Because they got the heat blasting. I have to use the AC. But I have it off right now because of the video and I want to make a noise. So let's get this this to run. And now this is native 4K. The it's streaming, it's resolution is 4k it's streaming in 4k the TV is 4k um, I turned off the uh, overscan on the TV I raised the, the sharpness all the way because I thought it was really necessary it was a little the text was a little blurry so I raised the sharpness all the way but it looks fine. It's fine. Okay, so story mode, because I suck at the online. All I can do in the online is basically, uh, you know, get killed and get yelled at because I suck. When I'm done with this, I got a cleanup to do. Come on. GTA Online. I don't care. Yeah, so now there's no anti-aliasing, but yet I don't see any pixels really. 
looks like there's a bit of low low resolution textures or something, but you know, it looks way better without having to change the settings or jack up anti aliasing and then I get stuttering and crap. You get this guy once I'm done fucking on the phone, kick his ass, stomp him while he's dead. You know, the usual. Anyways, so yeah, that's that's that. I can still adjust the colors if I wanted to, raise the saturation or whatever. But it, it looks really good without having to have, uh, you can see a little stutter in there, but uh, it wasn't really anything that would truly affect my gameplay. <laughs> oh, I'm kicking a wall. Bam! Fuck you. You too. Punch two people. Three, four. <laughs> wow. So a tough white dude. Ah, you missed. Anyways, that's that. I'm gonna get out of the game stream thing and do a um See if I'll see about a uh, Minecraft uh, pocket edition thing on here. So, but that worked really well, especially for a kind of budget rig in 4K. And then we have Minecraft to see what that looks like. I think I'm assuming this will be upscaled, and it crashed. I wonder if that's because of 4K. Oh, uh. <laughs> Okay. Well, we'll try something else. Hmm. Or you want? I don't know. That's a photo by city. I don't know. So uh, right now, um, that's not working. I'm trying to find something I could fire up real quick. Um, let's just launch Soul Count. Although actually, I think that has to be. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff that has to go on there. But let's see how uh, any upscaling will look. Although I'm not sure that the TV would handle that. I think it would be the Shield TV handling the upscaling. But either way, whatever. Soul Caliber. Okay, Soul Fugio. I, I have to play this all the way. Soul Calibur in uh, for well more than likely upscale 4K, but I don't know. Come on here. But uh, yeah, it seems like for game stream mostly this really helps. So far it's been helping my performance, although I only played one game. Uh, that's cool. Mm -hmm. Don't know, notice much difference here, but um, I'm also standing at an angle. There's a bit of a um, what the hell's the word? The angles of the TV um, viewing angles aren't the greatest, and nothing is really going to be the greatest on a two hundred dollars four K TV. That's what's HDRC C and whatever else with apps built in and all this other shit. Uh, it's not going to be great. Okay, well, can I get out of here? You know, I'll just, I'll just hit the home button. But yeah, that that's that. That's uh, Gaming seems fine. I'm not experiencing any problems. It's better than my old TV, so... Uh, so yeah, that's, that's that. So, uh, they had a whole bunch of these at Target. Uh, apparently they had, I don't know if I mentioned they had this on a, on a pallet. They had a whole bunch of them and they didn't realize it. So they just brought a whole bunch of them out and I got one for 200 bucks. So yeah, that's cool.
Thank you for watching.